Hello everyone and welcome back to a kind of like different video because I've never really done like a shop with me or like a you know tutorial on using services I guess but today I am here because I partnered up with Sunbay shop and they basically offered to let me use their service and they gave me some funds to try it out and I just wanted to share with you guys like this whole process because it's my first time buying from like a Korean website so I feel like I've learned a lot through this process so I feel like I have some valuable information to share with you guys but yeah I basically bought everything from Bunjang that I ordered through this site and yeah it's definitely been <laughs> an experience and yeah it's definitely been an experience I must say um like I said it's my first time using this site so there was a lot to learn and it's very different from I guess I would say Mercari Japan in a lot of ways so today we're gonna do a little shop with me and I'll kind of let you guys in on what I've learned I guess so yeah first thing about Bunjang is that they have this global site which is kind of annoying to navigate not gonna lie I wish it was just kind of like a normal um website but it's kind of like made for like mobile so that makes it a little bit complicated to use because you can't really like open tabs or like stuff like that and then everything is in usd which also makes it kind of confusing when you make the order on sunbay shop but yeah we're just gonna um figure this out <laughs> um today i kind of want to shop for some zero base one photo cards because if you've been on my twitter at all you'll know how deep i've fallen down the hole of zero base one so we're gonna do that um first of all so first thing you want to do is make sure you have like the korean name for whatever you're searching up because there is very little english in the titles of everything so yeah we're gonna look up zero base one so yes here is this and then what gets kind of tricky about this is that on the site more than like mercari japan and stuff the prices are not really accurate when you look at them here so you really have to make sure you read the description and like double check everything so yeah i'm gonna like kind of like show you guys some things i've learned and then another thing to keep in mind is that um, when you order through sunbay shop there is a fee i think i can see in my past orders so the fee for sunbay shop is three dollars and fifty cents and then the other thing that i didn't really consider when i was making my first purchases is that a lot of these um listings on bunjang don't have shipping included so um that was another fee added onto the price of a lot of the photo cards that i paid so yeah normally i would not pay this much for the photo cards i bought but because i didn't consider these fees um, they did end up costing more than I thought they would, so I'm just putting that out there as something to consider. Um, there is a fee for Sunbay Shop, which is normal. Every proxy has its fees. But yeah, there's also the shipping fee. And honestly, I still don't really know where to find that shipping fee. It's kind of confusing to me. So yeah, but from what I've seen, most of them are usually like 4 to $5. But at least the ones I ordered, like I can show you this one as well, was also $4. And then this one four dollars so yeah something to keep in mind so yeah that being said we're going to look for photo cards um i usually go to newly listed because i feel like it's probably the best place to find something so we'll do that so i don't actually have anything specific i'm looking for today um it's more so that i decided to collect hanbin and Tangao from Zero Base One, and if you know anything about them, you know that's like the most popular members probably. So, as a precaution, I'm kind of looking for some of their photo cards because I don't have high hopes of pulling them. So, I'm gonna go to this website because I know they have like the Korean names. So, I'm gonna look up how because I actually did pull some Hanbins. Um, out of some crazy luck that I had <laughs> but I'll talk more about that later or in a different video I mean but yeah um, so I'm looking for how photo cards and then here you can actually make it so the shipping fee is included so if you don't want to worry about the shipping fee fiasco I guess you can do that but a lot less things will show up if you put that so just something to keep in mind so yeah as you can see here a lot of the pictures have like prices on them so 
you basically would have to like get in contact with the person selling and be like hey i want to buy this photo card and i'm pretty sure that sunbay shop can actually do that for you um but personally i feel like it gets very like confusing and i don't want to make them like go through all that so yeah i don't think i'll be getting anything that's like you have to message to get it so yeah you can see here it has this price listed here but here it says it's 1.1 which is i believe like 11,000 korean won which is about 11 dollars more or less so yeah it's like a lot of math and it gets kind of complicated in my head especially with all like the korean like system of writing prices but yes i believe it says that this is the price and then the shipping fee would be like 2000 won which is like about two dollars but i don't know because like i said all the ones i've ordered have been like either four or five dollars so i don't really know how that all works out but i will keep this as an option because honestly it's not terrible um so yeah we'll definitely keep that as an option as something i might buy but yeah i can definitely say i feel like <laughs> as you can see here this website is like giving me a lot of trouble which basically goes into what i was gonna say um, my whole experience with this whole bunjang and like sunbae shop thing, any issues that I've had have not been with sunbae shop at all. They've all been with bunjang because I feel like the website is just very annoying to use. And I don't know, it's like as someone who doesn't like fluently understand Korean, it's somewhat, it's, it's like kind of difficult to know exactly what you're buying. Even when you like translate, it gets kind of like weird and like, I don't know, it's a little bit, um, hard. So... Yeah, I don't know if I would personally use this again just because of Bunjang, like not at all, not at all because of Sunbay Shop, um, because their website is very like foolproof and like easy to use. But yeah, every time I open this website, uh, a part of me dies a little bit. <laughs> but I feel like if I used it again, I would probably use it as like just a general K address for like albums and stuff like that. So I think that's the only reason I would personally use it in the future because I don't really enjoy shopping on Bunjang for photo cards. I would prefer to use like Mercari Japan or something. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> and this is probably like the last photo card I'll order, but um, I would want to get like matching photo cards. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that matches um, this Howl photo card. Um, so yeah, this price is not terrible. And it says the shipping fleet is included, but again, I'm gonna try and translate this to make sure it is what it says. Um, I mean, I don't see any like other prices down here, which is a good sign. I feel like, you know, this is like the actual price, but yeah, you know, it takes a while to really know until like the whole order goes through. So I think honestly, I'll probably just buy these two photo cards. I don't think I want to risk it past these two photo cards because like I said, um, every order that I've placed has ended up being like a price different than when I thought it was. So yeah. I think with these two, I'll be set to like complete my Sunbay shop order, but I did want to like go through and like show like the shopping process with you guys so you kind of see like my mindset of when I'm shopping on here and like the things I'm looking out for. So yeah, also a lot of times when you do the Google Translate thing, it doesn't really like fully translate it. So I recommend using Papago because it's like a actual like Korean translating service. So it kind of gives you a better idea. So yeah, here it tells you like more in detail like what it actually says. So yeah, um, so now let's go here and try to order these. So basically you just go to the buying service and you can actually order like multiple items in one um, order. So I'm just gonna call this like Bunjang and I'll put like CB1 photo cards. And yeah, you can also ask them to sort it and like remove anything like that you don't want. So I guess if you order like a bunch of albums and you only want the inclusions, you can probably ask them to do that. So yeah, that's a pretty good option to have, I think. So here I'm gonna put the first one, which is a Hanbin one. And at item description, I'm gonna put Hanbin Make Star pre order. And then here it asks you for the price and you want to put this price in one so this is where it gets kind of tricky because obviously this is in usd so anyway that's how i was checking to see what the one price would be but as you can see it's not really working anymore but um you can also if you put this price here and add the zero 
um, it would basically come out to the price listed on here. So I'm just going to do that because, yeah, but um, either way, they will adjust the price if it's like not what you thought it was. So you'll get like an invoice including like the fee and um, any shipping fees, all that. So I think it's fine. You know, you just put the price you think it is because, again, it's very difficult to kind of know exactly what the price is especially if you don't know korean so yeah i wouldn't stress too much about this part like with my first order i also put like what i thought the price was and some of them were not accurate and it was just um adjusted later so yeah you don't have to worry too much about that but yeah here you can add another item so here i'll put the how photo card and i'll put um same thing as this but how and then i'm just gonna do the same thing i did before because like i said there's not really a way to check the one price so just whatever you think it is really so yeah i'm gonna put these two and submit it and they usually get back in like a day or two and like send you the invoice of like the actual price so i will be back once i get that to kind of show you guys everything else i do after that so i submitted those we will just now wait for them to get back to us <laughs> okay everyone so i'm back to finish off this order we did um it's actually been a minute and I was getting a little concerned because every other order I had ever put through um, pretty much went through immediately. So I was very confused because it was taking a while. Um, at first I thought it was because they had like a national holiday in Korea so I was giving them time. And then also, you know, like Bunjang, you usually have to like message people if you want to buy a photo card and sometimes they take a while to get back to you. So I was just giving it some time, but um, it had been a minute and I hadn't heard back either from the purchase request I did or the one I sent a message about, but thankfully somebody shop does have an Instagram and you can actually DM them there and they get back to you like very quickly, like within a few hours they got back to me and confirmed all the like issues and stuff I was having and sorted everything out. So here I am back again and now this order has gone through. So here it says you have unpaid orders in your cart, pay here, so I'm gonna do that. So this is the order that ended up going through. I'm trying to see if I could get like a better like breakdown of like the price and stuff. So this is what the total price came out to and I believe this is just for the Hanbin one um, after delivery fees and the Sunbay shop fee. And in my email they actually sent a breakdown of the price. So you can see here the shipping fee was 4.8 which again goes back to my whole issue with Bunjang and not really being clear about the prices and stuff because when I submitted that order on the site, it said shipping included, but that ended up not being the case. So again, not a problem with Sunbay Shop, but just with Bunjang, and it just being difficult to understand the prices and the shipping and stuff if you don't really um, fluently understand Korean, or sometimes it's just not listed, even if you do. So yeah, um, my issue still lies with Bunjang, again, not with Sunbay Shop at all. But yeah, this is like a lot more than I would normally pay for this photo card because, you know, in this week of collecting ZB1, I've learned a lot more about like the POVs and the prices and stuff. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through with it anyway. Um, also, one of the orders that I had before got refunded, so, you know, it's not that much of a blow to my wallet, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, we don't have enough to um, pay this, so I'm gonna add some funds to my wallet. So you just click on Wallet Balance, and then you go to WISE. And yeah, the money should pop up soon. So basically when it does, all I will do is pay for this order and then just wait for it to arrive. Once it arrives, you can actually um, open it and you can see pictures of like what has arrived. So this is really cool because like I ordered this Temptation broadcast, but, but like I can see it came with like all these freebies and I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. But it's really good because you know exactly like what arrived and how it looks and everything. So I really appreciate that. And then one last thing I forgot to mention, they if you go to your account settings and you press addresses, you can actually see that you also have a Korean address that you can ship to. So if there's anything you want to send to Sunbay Shop, but you don't want to buy through the buying service, you can do that and it'll just arrive at the address. Um, I haven't tried it, so I'm not 100% sure if there's a fee for that as well, but that's also another option, like in case you want to buy something like right when it drops. 
and you don't really want to wait for the buy request to come through or something um, that's another option so basically when this last thing i ordered arrives i'm just gonna select everything consolidate continue and yeah here you can choose to like sort again if you want to and then you can also repackage everything into a smaller box so you have lots of different options and then as you can see here they have fedex ems k packets airmail so yeah that's pretty much everything on in terms of like managing the website and stuff and how to use it so overall i think it's a very simple um, user interface um not too much confusion and if you have any they're very good at getting back to you quickly especially through like instagram and stuff so i would 100 percent recommend this site if you're looking for a korean proxy and yeah um i think that's everything i have to say in terms of the website but yeah i'll see you guys when the items arrive and I'll let you know how the shipping was and do a little haul and stuff. So yeah, I will see you there. Hello everybody! Um, welcome to the second part of this video, which is the haul portion. Um, as you can see, I have my little box from Sunday Shop here. It's been a little while since I um, recorded the last part, just because I had some issues with like using Ys. I don't know, I think I did something wrong. Um, it's definitely on me but once again i reached out to them like through instagram and they were like very sweet and supportive and like helped me figure everything out so like i said customer service 10 out of 10. but yes i'm so excited to finally open all these photo cards i've been waiting um a minute to receive them so as you can see they're all packed in here so i don't know if there's any like important information on these so i'm a little bit scared but um i guess what they do is like they open the envelope to take a picture and then they put it back in so it's like in the original packaging so that's very nice so i have here um seven no i can't count six envelopes to go through so we shall do that together i'm a little bit intrigued by this one because it doesn't look like it's been opened but maybe they just like resealed it i don't know but let's see what it is oh so it's my june pop oh there's like a lot of previews in here oh i pulled them out of the top loader but yes this is a reverse pop from sector 17 and like i had to get this because this june look is like one of my favorite june looks ever i mean i think pretty much everyone feels that way about this june but ah, i'm so happy i really really wanted this photo card so yay i'm so excited it looks like they included some lomo card situation so let's look through these so we have a bunch of cute little group pictures oh my god these are like fetus 17 pictures how cute so yes we got some freebies with that one how cute i think um one thing i'm not used to with these like korean sellers is the fact that they include um quite a bit of freebies like like obviously not everyone does but um compared to like mercari japan this is like not a common thing at all so it's very like um exciting i think but yeah so next up we have another one in like this little bag so let's see oh my chunga photo cards so yes this person didn't even put them in a top loader but it's okay but yeah i found this um chunga listing and honestly i thought it wasn't even gonna go through because it was a very old listing and i was like it's probably this person like probably forgot they even listed this but it actually went through so i did get these chunga cards i think i do have the clear one already but um yeah i was very happy to find some more chunga cards because i really need to work on her collection more um i've been slacking on it a bit so yeah very happy to find that and then let's see what this one is oh my hamjin pop my little make star pop that i paid way too much for <laughs> But um, it's okay because, yeah. But yes, here is it's his little cat ear pop. Um, it's funny because I actually set up a trade for this because I thought I wasn't gonna get it through here. So now I'm gonna have a duplicate, but you know, it's okay. Here's my little Hanbin cat ear pop, super cute. And then next up, we have this one. So this looks like it's one of my Stacy cards. Um, yes, I made some big moves on the Stacy photo cards with this one. And by big moves, I mean like, I bought two photo cards. <laughs> but yes, finally I made some progress on We Need Love because I don't know why it's taking me this long. But yes, I got this really cute Sumin card. I love the Sumin outfit. It's like one of my favorites. So very happy to finally have this photo card. 
And then here is, I think, another Sumin photo card. And look at this cute little Sumin sticker on the packaging. Like, that's adorable. But yes, um, this one included a bunch of freebies. And I'm like, this is the cutest thing ever. And they're also like super cute freebies. So I'm like, oh my god, I love this. So yes, I also got this Sumin photo card. Another We Need Love card. Um, yeah, this one's a green bag and she's super cute and adorable so very happy about that and oh my god let's look through all these freebies because what this is like insane <laughs> like look at these cute little mail stickers and all these like oh my god these are so beautiful are these like eyes these are eyes one right yeah oh and i think this is g friend two one oh my god cute i never got like two into eyes one but i can still appreciate it and this is like is this like a sticker i love it oh my god and more g friend and I believe I can't really tell who this is, so I'm not even gonna try. And then I believe this is Minju from Aizuan, so lots of cute Aizuan, Stacy, G Friend freebies. They're so cute, like oh my god, Korea really has like the cutest freebies ever. I love them so much. And then the last one I think is also packed with freebies because I did not order anything that was this um big. So I'm like very excited. What? Is this like a stack of freebies? Like what is happening right now? Um, I'm pretty sure that this is my Taehyung broadcast. So yes, here he is. This is what I bought and this is what I got. Um, yeah, so I got this Taehyung broadcast. It was like pretty decently priced on there. So I was like, you know what? Might as well get it on a Korean website because it's probably the cheapest place I'm going to find it. But yeah, it's super cute. I'm so happy I got this. Like ah uh, so cute so yes we got my broadcast and um let's just look through this because this is insanity actually i wonder if they gave this many because it was like a more expensive photo card i mean it wasn't like crazy expensive um or if they just like give this many on the regular like this is crazy but yeah we have several stacks to go through here i guess let's start with this one. Oh my god subin subin bung you Oh my god, this is so cute! These are adorable and they feel so nice quality! What? The freebie game in Korea is going into- Look at this Taehyun! Oh my god, these are so cute! Like, they just be giving this many of these out for free? Are we joking? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry, like, what? These are so cute! This made me want to buy from Korean um, sites more because what even? Like, I'm getting spoiled right now. Oh my god, more freebies. Oh my god, these are so cute! And the quality is really nice, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like cardstock and it's kind of like matte. And oh my god, I love this selfie, this is like one of my favorite selfies ever. Oh my god. Okay, Taehyun, okay. I love this one too, oh my god. This is everything, like, oh my god. I'm so happy right now, like, are we joking? I just got this giant stack of photo card freebies for one photo card what and there's still more oh my god these are all like stickers i think oh my god so we have more photo cards some of the same ones and then we have a bunch of like these cute stickers oh my god i'm gonna cry look it's bunny yeonjun oh my god i will be putting these on all my mail ever from now on are we joking what look at these seven ones oh my god this just made my entire night because what even oh my god i love this this is my favorite bum view guys look at all these like cute little mail stickers oh my god oh we have puppy bum view oh my god is this like actually just a regular thing in korea like i'm gonna like cry right now this is the cutest thing ever oh my god so this is like what i bought and then these are like freebies like that's crazy i got more freebies than like actual photo cards so yeah that's everything for this video um so i guess just to sum up my final thoughts on everything that i talked about in this video with like sunday shop and bunjang and everything i had an amazing experience with sunday shop i would definitely recommend them because like they're just super helpful with everything and anything you have issues with they're able to resolve it very quickly so i really recommend them as a proxy service um like i said in my whole like tutorial portion any issues I had throughout this whole process was more me not really understanding like Bunjang as a website and like how the prices work and everything so you know that's on me <laughs> um 
I acknowledge that. So yeah, I don't know if I'll use Bundang again, but I would definitely um, use Sunday Shop again as like a proxy service for Korea. So yeah, overall, very good experience. Definitely recommend them. Um, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check them out. I do think it is an affiliate link, so um, just putting that out there just to let you know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was like a shorter and like more informative one. But yeah, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!